Hey, Coach 2K with Coach2K.com. Back with another C2K Summer League matchup. This is with our Miami Heat owner. Uh, first time I've played our new Miami guy. He actually is from Miami. This is George Hill. Go to the basket there and get a nice bucket off the pick and roll. Here we got Monte Ellis. It should be money. I thought that was going to drop in. But on the break, Dwayne Wade's going to come in. He's going to dunk in. So it wouldn't be a 2K game if I didn't give away a few of those. Paul George trying to get it back, but he gets stuffed. There's another situation where we get off the break. They got numbers, and he finishes it right in Paul George's face. Another fast break opportunity. They knock it home. So they build up a seven-point lead here. And uh, moving Paul George to the four a little bit, and we like to run the pick and roll with Monte and Paul George, and he knocks down the jumper. Here we got Rodney Stuckey. Big three there. He had a great game. He ended up going five of seven from three in this one. And we tried to run the same play with Paul George on the pick and roll. Stuckey misses it. C.J. Miles with the putback dunk. Nice play by C.J. So here we're going to run the pick and roll back with Paul George. Instead of dunking, he just lays it over. I think that's uh, that's who that is. I know his name, Josh McRoberts, former Pacer. Off the pick and roll, Paul George pops the three and knocks it down. You can see here we're working the pick and roll action again with these two guys. And uh, Paul George just lays it down. Rodney Sucky with a nice move here, hop, a nice fake, and he lays it in. Rodney had a really good game. Actually, three of these guys, Monte Ellis with a nice finish there, Rodney Stuckey and Paul George, each finished with over 20 in this game. That's probably what I'm going to have to do all year. And Monte gets a wide open bucket off the pick and roll. And then we got a mismatch here. Uh, Whittington, oh, he freaks out. Let's see what's uh, Bosch score. Trying to get Stuckey again. He shoots the three and he knocks it down. He had a really good game again. Here we are trying to get to the rim. And George Hill, wide open. Paul George, I don't know why he didn't dunk that. So we'll take the jumper. And here he runs the same play. He finds Rodney Stuckey on the baseline. He ends up knocking it down. Here's another one of those fast break layups I give up every game. So one uh, two point game. So they kind of cut the margin down. Here I kind of cut in trouble, so we ended up posting up Paul George on Chris Bosch, and he ends up scoring on him. Which was kind of a surprise to me. Here, nice back cut by jo uh, Paul George, and I love that. He was overplaying Paul George on the wing, so I set him up to do a back cut. Sometimes that doesn't actually trigger. Nice three, one point game. Run that play again, trying. He's holding him. He won't cut. I don't know why he won't cut. And here we get in trouble. Here we see C.J. Miles over in the corner. Jordan Hill makes a nice pass and gets the bucket for C.J. We got another backdoor cut. He gets the dunk. So a lot of times people will tend to play him overly tight over there, and I'll set him up over on the other wing and kind of isolate him. Here we got C.J. Miles. He's in trouble. Dwayne Wade comes in with a nice spin move, and he gets the bucket, and he gets the foul, and Paul George is like, you got to be kidding me. Guys, he's shot a very good percentage today, and they need it. For the free throw, Dwayne Wade knocks down the free throw. Good job there, recognizing All right, so here we are. We're trying to run that same play again, but we can't get him to cut. So he just, he, he's just holding him, and then instead of passing it, Ellis just decides to finish it. Nice little landing. Nice block here off the mid-range jumper. Uh, Miami's in transition again, and they get a nice layup. So we built a lead there. They got it down to seven. And a nice little cut by Monte Ellis gets him a layup. And Monte, he was having a pretty good game too. I don't think he missed too many shots. I didn't get the stats at the end of this one, but nice lay-in. So here's C.J. Miles. He's out there again. In trouble, and Dwayne Wade makes him pay. C.J. Miles and Winnington aren't the best defenders, so if you see him out there. Oh, this is a great sequence. There's like 36 seconds left when he got the ball. He takes the shot. He gets one offensive rebound. Comes in, takes another shot. He gets two offensive rebounds. Takes it back out. 
Gets another shot. He misses. He gets, what was that, three offensive rebounds. He passes it around. <laughs> this is just crazy. He cuts. I anticipate it. I try and get the steal. It goes off of his head. Another rebound. Oh. <laughs> if the quarter hadn't run out, I'd probably still be out there trying to <laughs> trying to get the rebound. Nice little play by Mahimi as he makes the cut on the inbounds play. It's incredibly too easy to score on inbounds. Got our wires crossed. We left Wade open for three. 11 point game, so we're in pretty good shape here. But the fourth quarter, he uh, kind of make a run against my bench. And Dwayne Wade gets a nice little layup. Got it down to 11 again. Here's another dunk on the break. Seven point game. In transition again. And Bosch, nice little mid range jumper, cuts it to five. So we're trying to find some offense. Solomon Hill off the poor release, I can tell you. Uh, knocks down what should have been a three, but ended up being a two. And Dwayne Wade kicks it out for Goran. He takes the three. Four point game. And again, here we are with uh, they got numbers on the break. Two point game. So it's in crunch time here. Set. Seven minutes to go in the, in the fourth quarter. Solomon Hill finds Rodney Stuckey for another big three, which he drains. So Stuckey was hot, so we kept trying to go to him. He stops, he pops for the three. Still to take it and then for the layup. And again, here's another one of those easy baskets I give up. Four point game. Wallace has got the ball. Oh, he finds Mahinmi underneath. I was surprised that pass got through. He usually gets picked off. So I thought it was going to be a turnover. Huge defensive play of the game right there. Paul George with the block. And two passes. And Stuckey lays it in. So that was big because that, that uh, made it a seven-point game. Three minutes to go. Dwayne Wade trying to do what he can. And Warren just gets another easy basket. So five-point game. And we're running that pick and roll again. But it was covered up, so we didn't really have anywhere to go. We rotated to Stuckey. Comes in, throws the floater off the glass. Another big shot by Stuckey. Played huge. We're going to need that during uh, during next season. Seven-point game. He's trying to take me off the dribble here. And uh, he's successful. Gets it off the glass. Five-point game. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, but I tell you, more of those. Yeah, that's going to crash in the glass. Anyway, big uh, shot here as Paul George is double teamed. He finds Rodney Stuckey. And that wraps it up. Ended up winning that game with a foul and um, ended up uh, beating him. So great game to the Miami Heat owner. Um, Want to play me sometime? PSN's www-coach2k-com. If we get a chance to play, I will see you on the court. Be sure to subscribe, and if you like these videos, let me know. Talk to you soon. Yeah, you gotta freeze the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. A few misses at the